Doros around the outside here at the 550, back near the rail, Celtic Wizard, and they're followed wider out by Big Cabbage, who's followed Capo Doro to the turn, a length and a half to Leonora Sensation, back with it as well as Fremont, St. Stephen and Seal with a kiss coming around the corner, they're on the point of the bend, and what did you do again, kicked up on the inside to regain the lead from in to Hood, the blue nipper down the outside with Capo Doro, then Celtic Wizard, and kill out further back with Big Cabbage, over on the outside, Capo Doro, raced up, went to the blue nipper, getting through again is into Hood who's coming but Capo Doro extends, he pulls away Capo Doro, Capo Doro won the last on the card from a photo for second, into Hood or Big Cabbage what did you do, Celtic Wizard were next and St Stephen getting home along the rail deep out Fremont, followed then by the blue nipper pulling up, in behind the next of all, Wanted Desire they were followed then by Killat Sebring Spy and Leonora Sensation the last couple to greet the judge, sealed with a kiss, and Black Smuggler. Capo Doro, first up, potentially. He's a nice staying type, this fellow. Ridden by young Fred Kersley for his grandfather, Fred, senior. And uh, Capo Doro settled back, covered ground, and too good for them. There's a bit of upside with this uh, Medaglia Doro girling who's bred on very, very strong staying lines and he showed that there over 1600 first up 13 23 90 into hood 220 and big cabbage 580 as we wait for the official placings capo doro though too good for them owned by the oakland park stud syndicate of neville duncan joe oxley from the richardson hotel uh, brad thomason dennis McInerney, trained by fred kersley and written by kersley jr into hood 13 and Big Cabbage, 10. The two horses fighting out the minor placing as we wait for the official numbers now to come to hand after the last race of the day. Into Hood, 13 is second. It battled on well. Street Sense Atlantico Mare for Grant Alana Williams, written by William Pike. 10 Big Cabbage, Saxon Satan sequel gelding, trained by Brett Pope, written by Troy Turner. 11, a one, what did you do rather, has run fourth in front of 11. Celtic Wizard 5, 13, 10, 1. 5, 13, 10, 1. A length and a half and a half ahead are the margins there to the last on the card. So a good performance here by Capo Doro. Very good at 1,600 metres. Uh, last run was in the Derby. Uh, was well beaten there but had been placed in ML Vista. He's certainly uh, a galloper that's clearly work in progress. He's got uh, a deep staying pedigree behind him. And uh, he uh, certainly showed plenty of that in the last of the day. Let's go down with uh, Adam McGrath and also winning trainer Fred Kersley after the victory. Seems to be a good luck charm today. If you'd speak to us before the race, Fred, we had the chat and we said that maybe the racing gods would shine on Judith for the birthday and now you have to get a really big present. Well, we picked the wrong one, actually, <laughs> but uh, so did the punters. But um, I was very pleased uh, the horse returned to racing in good style. Very happy with the way the young fella rode him. He, nothing could, went right in the run, but he didn't panic. And although he travelled an extra distance, he sort of kept the horse pretty well balanced and finished off well. You said to us in the preview that he was working well, but did you expect a performance like that today? A little bit surprised that he, that he actually got up and won. Um, I thought he'd run a good race, but I was by no means confident. But that's why I give him a bit of credit for the way he handled it from a very difficult draw. And probably with the ease as well, that the horse was able to just pick them up and then just sort of cruise to the line. Yes. He, uh, his family has improved with age, as, uh, you know, as, as a stat. And uh, it looks like he's improved on his three-year-old form. With the way that this horse has been working at home and what you just saw then, where you just increase the distance straight away, would you be happy to stay around the 1600 and just see what you get again with another performance? Well, he surprised me at being as capable he, as he was at the 1600, but I think 1800 is probably better for him, but depending on the program, we'd go either way. What did you make of Celtic Wizards run as well, finished fifth? Yeah, tactically it didn't work for him. He got back midfield a little bit when he was looking for room, it wasn't there. Uh, I thought he got to the line OK without getting the right run. Well, great friend, a family moment there. Birthday for Judith, win for you. Fred Kersey on board as well. Ticks all the boxes for a Wednesday. Can't complain about that. Congratulations, Fred Kersey there. Uh, winning trainer for Capo Dioro. We're taking out the final race of the day and his other runner finishing fifth as well. We'll speak to Fred Kersey in a minute after he weighs in. A really uh, well-timed rider in the end. As you heard Fred say, there wasn't much luck through those early stages, but he was able to stay persistent and the horse that did the rest in that final 200 metres, uh, bringing up a midweek win here for Fred. We'll speak to him now. Fred, I'm sure, uh, with the birthday for the family today, that was a nice special win. 
Yeah, it was a good win. It's good to get one for Nan on her birthday as well. You know, um, early stages in the race, I was probably a bit unlucky to get caught wise. I did, but I thought not to panic. Let the horse stride forward, be comfortable. Didn't want to give the leaders too much of a head start and straightening. Um, back of my mind, I thought the horse would be able to bring him back if I had given him a bit of a head start, but. To tell you the truth, I didn't want to take the risk, so... It certainly looked good, though, the way that you were able to relax on the outside, although not being in an ideal position. The horse hadn't done any work, had it, as, as you turned for home? Yeah, the horse hadn't done much work. Loved there, loved there easily, and it's just... Just had to rate him as well as I could and let him straighten the straight. Were you surprised by the turn of foot? Yeah, I was surprised a bit. In fact, I think I've only worked him a few times this prep, and it surprised me a lot how he is. Well done, mate. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much.